All right, guys. So today I'm gonna try to get out of the anatomical construction of the nose. In class, we were working exactly how the anatomy of the nose starts, which is we were looking at the nasal bone, sinus, so I uh, socket of the eye in, in levels of the proportion and distance, and we were adding the two main parts of the cartilage after the nasal, nasal bone, and then simply just the nostrils, that is a conjunction of the fat and tissue. So we were working pretty much like this on the, in the class last week. Uh, but today I'm gonna teach more a uh, functional way that everyone can do quicker when they're doing in a life size or even in a small scale of, of construction of any, any work that you guys want to do. All right, so we leave the, the, the skull. So we're going to say that we have already our base and we create a small um, kind of rectangle in the middle that is going to help us out to work with. We're going to create six planes, pretty much. We're going to create six planes and I explain in two seconds how do they look like. So I'm just pretty much adding the shape for the let's say it's like a rectangle that we're going to look for. Um, Try to create the top plane isn't as wide as could be the lateral planes. Um, I'm just creating a little bit of. When working in water-based clay for this kind of thing, quick exercises would be a little bit easier. But I wanted to do it in the same clay as you guys are working in that way. You can relate to all the process. So the top plane. This one. And as we come down to the actual nostrils, we widen down that rectangle a little bit. Because that's also the part of the six planes that we're going to work on. Working maybe in a smaller scale, you can get into this shape quicker as well. Getting there. The 
bottom of the nose, we're gonna give us pretty much the rest for the other three planes that we were looking for. So this is one plane, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do five and six actually. I think that I was sorry. Don't count, count this one. So because here we're gonna be working with a sinus bone. So you can that uh, add that later on to this. Um, all right. So when you guys have like a little shake like that that's when we start counting all right so we got it now So we got one, two, three, four, five, and just six. Yeah. So if we try to make it as straight as we can, just to start with. You know, we create like a little triangle shape here on the on the tip. To create the tip of the nose, and yeah, then we got the top, top of the nose. Top of the nose, laterals. Yeah. I'll be coming back in there and we create the, the actual changes and proportions that we need. All right, so let me just get the, the knife and I'm going to be cutting down a little bit. So from the lateral, we're going to cut just halfway through. We create kind of Size it here up to the nose, and we get the side all the way through. We go not over the nose, just then. Can keep on adding a little bit more. You can. Mark a little bit on the upper side of the nostril, the the wind of the nostril. Just mark that kind of run. You can make it more noticeable as well. Yeah. 
I need, I, can't, I think that I just took too much from this one. Just put back what I might have taken too, too much. Um, yeah, just from the top here, that's it. Now, we come this is this this way is pretty much is carving out instead of adding that much you just carving down toward the shape that you're looking for. We got another one of the places here. We keep that as well in mind. Keep on adding more if you want the tip of the nose. You see, start getting already the shape. Mm -hmm. need to make sure that I keep on going back to the center of the camera. Um. How I go in the nostril is, let me see if I can, I don't know if changing the angle if I do this let me see yeah you guys can see if I do that then I'm gonna come to carve in Push uh, outwards a bit of the wind of the nostril. Yeah. That way, you do as much as you need to, but not too much. You do it pretty much in the center, not too close to the bottom, because remember, you need kind of that bit of tissue still in that area. Then let's go into the other one. And then push ours a little bit just to create more of the actual wing. Pretty much that's then we we need to go uh, back and forth with so for now that's going to work for us. Um when I'm looking in from the top I can see that the winds are a little bit too high so I can come back and put a little bit more on the side and bring them down because they they got a little bit too high.
I'm just going back into I didn't really film that I think that it really needs to be put back on. No way sometimes. It's just the work and process back and forward. Like everything we do in the sculpture is and drawing as well. You know, if you had to go back and review what you've done before and compare one side to the other one and make sure that it looks symmetrical and and proportional. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to be adding a little bit more on the top because when I look in from this side, it's just a bit too narrow. Take off as much as you need to and put back on where you really think that is needed. We're gonna be adding a bit of the muscle that we see on the side, the muscle that is nice so valuable. side and just go refining a little bit behind the nostril. Put a little bit more on top. Let's go back and forward. And you're pretty much done. You just join a little bit of the tissue on the down on the needle of the septum and the nostril. Um, yeah. 
going to be there pretty much. to be working. I'm gonna add a tiny little bit here just to create the pronounced shape on the nasal bone that is a connection with the cartilage. And if you guys wanted, uh, as same as we did on the, um, the exercise uh, in the so video, you can add the nasal to the sinus. That's an option. Mm. And this one is pretty long actually, should go a little bit lower. There you go. And we are done. You guys can make it as Thinner, like if you think that it's maybe too round the tip, you just cut a little bit down, just mold it, mold it, mold it, mold it until you're satisfied with the shape that you're looking for. It can be pointy, sharp, like round, just so many shapes of how it's like human body changes within a day and this day and right. So, you can do so many kind of noses. And yeah.